India's first crewed space mission, Gaganyaan, may soon carry a very unexpected passenger. Not a robot, not a payload, but a bacterium, which has been developed by researchers at IISC Bangalore. But why? Let's break it down for you. ISRO's Gaganyaan mission is set to carry Indian astronauts into space, which will also serve as a testbed for life beyond Earth. But beyond the usual tech payloads, a proposal is underway to send something very unusual, a sample of Sporosarcina pasturi a soil bacteria. But what is the goal behind this if you ask? It is being done to test whether it can survive microgravity and continue doing what it does best, that is make cement biologically. Let's tell you the science behind it. A few years ago, IISC's mechanical engineering department developed a process using S. pasturi to create bricks out of lunar and Martian soil simulants. It works by converting urea and calcium into calcium carbonate, which with your gum binds soil particles together. The result? Bricks made without cement, water or earth-based infrastructure. They even tested sintered versions of these bricks, hardened at high temperatures to boost strength. But the moon is not friendly. Lunar conditions are unforgiving. Temperatures are wild. They swing from plus 120 degrees Celsius to minus 133 degrees Celsius daily. Micrometeorites strike without giving any warning. Solar radiation hits constantly. And that is why these bricks, especially sintered ones, can crack under stress, sometimes easily. And that is why IISC got clever. Bricks that heal themselves. To fix cracked bricks without sending spares from Earth, IISC researchers developed a bacterial repair system. They introduced cracks in sintered bricks on Earth itself, then poured in a slurry or sporosarcina pasturi, then added some guar gum and then lunar soil simulant. Over time, the bacteria filled the cracks with calcium carbonate, almost acting like a biological glue, restoring brick strength and resilience. And that is why we can tell you that Gaganyaan matters now more than ever for multiple reasons. Because here's the catch. We still don't know if the bacteria can function the same way in space. Will it grow in microgravity? Will it still bind bricks? Will the carbonate crystals uh, form properly? That's what IASC hopes to find out by sending samples on board the Gaganyaan mission. Professor Alok Kumar said, and we are quoting him, if that happens, it will be the first experiment of its kind using this type of bacteria in space. This is a massive deal. Let's tell you why. Because it enables lunar construction with local materials. No need to uh, launch heavy payloads from Earth. You can use the moon's regolith. It is crucial for self-healing infrastructure. Cracked lunar habitats can be repaired, not replaced. It's extremely important for microbial engineering in space. Because if this works, it opens doors to so much, it opens doors to biocementing, to self-assembling structures, to even Martian habitats. So yeah, what we saw in a movie starring Matt Damon may soon become a reality. So at the end of this all, it is safe to say that Israel's Gaganyaan is not just about taking astronauts to space. It might just carry the building blocks for India's future moon base. And if, if this tiny bacterium proves itself in orbit, it won't just be a science experiment. It will be the beginning of biological construction in space. Tell us what you think about this story. Leave in the comments below. And of course, I have a personal question to ask. Which is your all-time favorite space movie? Is it Martian, Interstellar or something else? Tell in the comments. Let's discuss. For more such real-time live updates from the entire world of tech and AI, subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.